Brisbane is definitely not the most exciting place to be diving in winter, so Jay and I are going to look for barramundi and threadfin salmon on a drive up the coast. Arriving after a very long drive through the night, we load up the boat with the necessary equipment and get on our way. We arrived at low tide and so the water's generally not very clean at this stage of the tide. We decide to look for some crab pot bait, we'll throw the pots in and then we'll come back and have a serious hunt for barra a bit later. Slady brim are not a fish that I would eat normally, but I really don't think the crabs care. The water was actually much cleaner than I had anticipated, so we stayed around and decided to explore the area a little bit more. As I looked at this boulder, I saw a fish tucked up against the bottom. Then it moved. This is when I realised it was a monster barramundi. I thought if I don't take a pot shot at this thing, maybe it won't spook and I could find it the next dive. About half a dozen dives later, I was peering over this rock and I think the barra and I both spooked each other as it darted out in front of me. I took a pretty quick shot and I knew that it wasn't the greatest shot. I played the fish very lightly until I could see that the spear was the whole way through. At 13 kilos, this was an awesome way to start the trip. The only thing that could be better is if Jay shot one too. And that he did, but a very bad shot where the flopper only just came out under the skin. I had to put a second shot in quickly to secure the fish. Yeah, we're looking for some uh, crab bait and I uh, didn't expect it, but uh, come over a rock and found this guy. Pretty good looking fella for uh, early on in the trip, so stoked. Just came down over this rock, looking straight down, going, oh, Big barra just sitting there. Bit of buck fever, didn't put the greatest shot in, but um, yeah, put it into the boat. So super stoked on this one. Nice fish to start the trip. With the tide running hard, it was time to make use of that slaty brim and drop the crab pots in. Got these round looking pot things. See how they go. I don't really know much about crabbing, but we'll give it a go. As always when we go spearfishing, we're constantly looking for new spots. This area looked really good on the sounder, so I dropped Jay in for a quick look. There were plenty of barramundi around that 5-6 kilo mark, but we left those alone. Awesome viz. Tide's still running pretty hard though. It's cold. <laughs> After being able to see how clear the water was from the sky and the high tide fast approaching, I knew exactly where we needed to be. Sometimes this spot is only diveable once during the entire year, and last year Jay missed this threadfin salmon point blank. He had a bit of a score to settle. After creeping along the bottom, I noticed a fish up in the corner of my vision. I turned up and noticed these blue-nosed salmon flying past me. I hoped that one more would come past, but it just didn't happen. As soon as I came to the surface, I yelled to Jay, get down there, there's salmon. Weighing in at 9.1 kilos, this was an absolutely incredible fish. Uh, Dan took a gamble on a spot that isn't usually clean and uh, it's paid off really well for me. So. Looking good. 
I searched and searched. I just couldn't find the thread fin again, but somebody found me. This barramundi ended up being about 103 centimeters and 14.3 kilos, nearly my personal best. So I had a good day today. Um, got a barra nice and early, and uh, yeah, came came up with a thread fin uh, later on in the day thanks to Dan pointed one out for me so all in all a good day Ew. end of the first day's diving no thread fin for me but uh, pretty stoked on these two nice barra probably around the 13 kilo mark each and uh, around that meter in length so yeah pretty stoked this dorsal spine here on the barramundi very sharp I've just dropped it uh, and that much of it has gone straight into my heel Quite a fair bit of pain involved in that. Not recommended. <sighs> Time to check the crab pots. It feels heavy. Woo! Oh, we're in with one. Oh, oh, one just dropped off the side as we pulled it up. With a crab each for dinner, it was time to set up camp. Got some crabs, gonna cook them over the hot flames. You get a bit of a smoky flavor on them. Crabs are ready. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I dropped a few legs. Yeah. Crabs done. Pick it up, pick it up. Super hot. Oh. Ouch. Holy flip, that's hot. Give me it, Dan. Ah, it's too hot. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> I think that bit got protected, eh? Oh, oh yeah. My <laughs> That's where it's at. A good amount of meat there. Oh, yeah. I don't know what that is, but I want it in me. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's drinking the cab juice. <laughs> That's so good. You want to hit? No. <laughs> How did you sleep, Jay? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. For me, the highlight of this trip was seeing my good mate Jay shoot this gargantuan salmon, especially after he had missed point blank last year. It's extremely uncommon to find these fish while spearfishing, let alone capture an entire shoal on film. <laughs> 